All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a cursor rule that I've been using that's really changed, I think, the longevity of my code base uh, while I'm vibe coding. And I call it clarification or clarifications, whichever you want. Um, I'm sure showing you a project right now that's not for my client. Um, I'm in heavy dev mode right now for a client, and this is this is not that project. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show that project in particular. Um, I just need a cursor to kind of show you my rule. Um, so this is the rule. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, so I just I just call it. It's a it's called my clarification rule, and you'll see it under your in the root of your directory under dot cursor slash rules. And I just call it clarification, clarifications, whatever the project setup is. I go to this one. This is my first rule in any project. And here's what I found with this rule. Basically, rather than telling the AI, hey, here's what I want to do. I give it like, here's the context of what I'm trying to do. But sometimes when I'm building a solution out for someone, I'm sometimes I'm off very often doing things I've never done before. I mean, if you're a developer, that's just, that's just the life you've chosen. So as I'm building out something I'm not like always familiar with, or even if it is something I am familiar with, maybe there's a better approach uh, for what it is I'm doing. And so this clarification rules basically just says, hey, here's what I'm trying to do. Here's what I'm trying to build. And I'll give it context to, you know, maybe you're trying to display some sort of information from your database. And so what I like to do is say, ask me all the questions that ask, please ask me any questions you need for clarification before proceeding with implementation. Here's what I found with this thing is that I pretty much will tag this on at the end of every single prompt while I'm vibe coding. And the reason is because it makes me think about a lot of decisions and you're not allowed to be lazy. Here's where I think this really steps into play. What I'm seeing with a lot of people right now is just for example, let's say a project's going to take you 10 hours. They get nine, they get 90% of it done in that first hour. But the problem is it's really not set up to finish that last 10%. And then you're just fighting things the whole way. And what I have found by using this prompt, I'm not fighting. And the reason I'm not fighting is because I'm building things relatively correctly. I come from a formal developer background. So like, I know what I should be looking for. And okay, how am I like, for example, I pretty much do everything in Next.js and React Native. So I'm a, just using React. Um, and so it's like, yeah, well, how, how, how are you handling state management? How are you fetching data? What does stale data look like? Well, I mean, just like really simple stuff, right? Like not complicated, but if you let the AI just like go out on its own and just like fetch things, how it thinks it should fetch things, then you're going to have a tough time. Um, and what's your like kind of like your data model look like for in with react query and relative to your database and all that stuff like it's super important and so by using this prompt i'm finding that play you're not allowed to be lazy like you need to actually be a developer here and then you just don't actually have to write the code and it's freaking awesome you just get to do the overall high level architecture and when it comes across a question that like hmm, you don't know how to answer it all it'll because it usually will list it right it'll say like one bullet point bullet point bullet point two bullet point bullet point bullet bullet point so when i don't know how to answer a question i'll say that like hey i'll answer one two and then on three i'll say hey i don't know how to answer this can you give me more details here's my current setup like like let's talk through this and then we'll get there and the thing is it's not gonna if i just leave it in agent mode right so you know here is my prompt Um, and then, you know, I'll just do this, right? At clarification at the end of every one, and then it won't proceed until it, until you've given it the confidence, Hey, I have all the information I need to proceed. And I'm finding that I'm just having a lot of fun and I'm not fighting things because they're usually done right. Um, and this means you're not allowed to be lazy. You actually have to think, like imagine that. And so I think it just allows for you to have a much more sustainable code base. Um, I just finished up a milestone few day, few days early for a client. Um, and I think this is a, a large reason. It's like why I've gotten there at the speed I have is just because I always ask the AI, what more, inf what information do you need? And what I'm surprised by is I talked to a lot of people about this and so many people never ask the AI to ask them like, 
we're so used to like telling the computer what to do. Now we live in this age where like the computer can ask us what it what it needs from us. Um, and so can ask really, really good questions. Um, so I hope that's helpful. I hope that's a rule that you add into your, into your cursor rules and it helps you, you know, develop, develop good products and services. So that's all I got for this week.